very quick heads up to this five minute quickie. Well, it's all about something I heard that was a rumour, then I found it out to be true. Have a listen, because that's confusing, and this won't be. Warning, 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 warning. You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal Development Unplugged. I have to give a massive, a massive heads up to a guy called Mark Devine. He has a podcast. It's called the Unbeatable Mind Podcast. And I love listening to it. Well, I love listening to it. Listen to his voice, his thoughts. He's such a deep man and knows so much. And he was interviewing a guy called Richard Strozzi, Strozzi Heckler. I'll spell that out. S-T-R-O-Z-Z-I hyphen Heckler. H-E-C-K-L-E-R. What a wonderful name, eh? Strozzi Heckler. And it was something that they said that just blew me away. Now, you see, ever since my early days of learning NLP and hypnosis, I've followed and taught this principle. And the principle is getting it in the muscle. What does that mean? I'll explain in a minute. Getting it in the muscle, though. Awesome thing to do. And I I will explain. You see, I met so many people in my journeys of NLP, of hypnosis. So many people that knew so much. Intellectually, they were awesome. They'd read virtually every book. They knew everything. But they didn't do it. They didn't use that knowledge. Maybe they didn't use it because they couldn't do it. They just were good at reading stuff, retaining stuff. And that always, well, it gave me a sense that that's not the right thing to do. To me, that's a real waste of of knowing. That's what it was for me. It was, if you know something, but you don't do it, don't use it, or maybe you just know it, but you can't, I don't, if you can't do it, then you may, probably don't know it. You don't understand it. But that's what I got. And it used to frustrate the hell out of me. You see, in the muscle, for me, was my definition of mastery. Well, it wasn't mine. I didn't make it up. I, this is what I was taught. Mastery. Knowing what to do and doing what you know. It's both together. So if you, you know, it doesn't matter how much, by the way, what you know and you use it, you do what you know. So knowing what you do, doing what you know, that is pure mastery. And to, to be able to do that unconsciously is for me getting in the muscle. You can call it getting in the muscle in your body because your f- physiology enables you to be aligned with what you're doing. But the muscle's a brain or the brain's a muscle. And getting it in the whole of your neurology, physical, mental, spiritual, emotionally, getting it in all those muscles. So that's why that's why I'm talking about this now, because it, it was like, I want to in, in, inspire you to mastery and beyond. That's what I, I made in my notes, what I was going to tell you, to go to mastery and beyond, not just knowing what you do and doing what you know, but do it even more. You see, let's go back to that that massive heads up. You see, I was in the gym. I was doing my my little bits of I was in that particular gym thing. I was doing movements. I wanted to try to get some more physiology in my movement uh, and a little bit of core strength. And as I was doing it, I was listening to that podcast, the Unbeatable Mind podcast. And as I was doing my movements and things like that, the guy Richard Strozzi Heckler, love the name, was talking about something of which he was talking about, I think it was Aikido. And one of the guys was talking about, well, he said, in my country, we have a saying. It says, knowledge is only a rumor until it's in the muscle. And I just went, wow. And people looked at me, what? Because I thought, that's it. That that's, makes it so clear to me. It set it in place. It gave me a picture. It gave me uh, a richness. Knowledge is only a rumour until it's in the muscle. It also gave me confidence when I heard that. Confidence in that I'm following the right path. 
you know, forget that old imposter sy- uh, syndrome we've been talking about, because I still get it. That suddenly went, boom, out the park, you, because that's what it is. If you can master what you do and get it in the muscle, knowledge is no longer a rumour, because it's in there, and you're doing what you know and knowing what you do. So that, that inspired me to write this down to talk about it with you, because I just wanted to inspire you inspire you to flex your muscles as it were don't sit and not do the things that you know i want you to empower you as it were to use what you know and it doesn't matter how much you know how little you think you know it just doesn't matter as long as you're doing what you know and knowing what you do you're mastering just maybe just one thing but that total mastery in the muscle with true alignment, will be awesome. You'll be responsible for wonderful effects. And the thing is, from there, you can make it grow. You learn more, but but not just learning for learning's sake. You're learning more to do more. And the more confident that you get in the things that you know and doing what you know, it will just grow. It'll be like you're stretching the boundaries of of whatever you have. We're going to be talking about, uh, I can't remember what it is now. We're going to be talking about something, about your, uh, barriers and things like that. But we're going to go, so oh, you, you, your ignorance, the, 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 the boundary of your ignorance. Well, you're going to be pushing those boundaries of ignorance so far. We haven't talked about it yet, but we're going to be pushing those so far away because you are you, the things you do you're, and you're going to get better and better at doing them because you know them, they're in the muscle. It's no longer a rumour. You're using those things and using all the skills you've got. They will just make you so confident and competent of doing the next thing and the thing after that. And you'll want to learn more. And you won't be able to look back without a wonderful feeling of achievement, knowing what you've done, what you're, and even when you look forward, if that's where your, your, your future is, knowing that you're going to do even more. Because I talked about Wayne Dyer. You'll see it when you believe it. Well, the thing is here, you'll know it when you do it. That was my little play on that one. So, and when you do it, because you know it, you'll have believed in it. And that's why you're seeing it, seeing the results. All these things just seem to, like synchronicity, just come at the right time. It's what life's all about, isn't it? Doing the things that you know and doing more and more and creating wonderful changes in this world. This is a reasonably short five-minute quickie, but I just wanted to share that with you. Get things in your muscle by flexing your muscles and using your muscles. Use them every day. It's like you know, the, the metaphor, and it wasn't it was a true story. I was in the gym, but you don't go to the gym one day and go, I've got it in the muscle. No, you have to keep flexing those muscles. You have to keep stretching those muscles. You have to keep pushing the boundaries. And then all of a sudden, you know, and when you do that, you do that with your mind and mindfulness on the technique that you're doing. I was even thinking about a, a set of 12 reps is actually one repetition, just one repetition done 12 times. That's all you keep doing is one repetition. You concentrate on that one repetition and that's what you get. That's how you get that mastery, by being mindful and then it becomes unconscious because you've pointed yourself in the right direction. All these little FMQs we've been doing, everything just comes to place. And I'm so pleased that it does for you, for me. Have more fun than you can stand. It's Paul here, your friend from Personal Development Unplugged. And enjoy every heartbeat. Bye-bye now. Hey, don't you just hate selling your own stuff? I know I do. I can sell things. I've got all those techniques and things like that, but that's not about selling my own stuff. But I do need to let you know. I, we've got a lot of free hypnosis tracks, over 40 hypnosis tracks at paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast. But on top of that, there are some premium hypnosis tracks together with two, I think, really, really quite good, well, not quite good, Paul, they are good, effective, things that work, 
They are two programs. One is Free Your Life of Anxiety. First five days are absolutely bloody free. So what have you got to lose other than your anxiety? It certainly gives you a great insight into what anxiety is all about for you. And then obviously then there's the premium side. But also we have supreme inner confidence. And don't be put off by the word supreme. It's a little bit of clickbait, I guess. It's just about having supreme inner confidence in yourself, where you have that inner strength, that inner confidence, that inner competence. And there are, I think, really good processes that I've developed that take away the the uncertainty, the, the fear of the past that created your, your unconfidence, then allowing you to access all the resources that you need to be totally confident, supremely inner confidence. Have supreme inner confidence. And then takes you into the future so you can actually have your unconscious mind like program the things that could happen in the future. If they did, you would have that supreme inner confidence without thinking. Because that's what it's all about. Becoming naturally, supremely inner confident. Confident in yourself and your own inner abilities. Okay, so that's it. If you would just go there, have a look. They're both at Paul Clough Online. And if you want to go there, there directly, go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash anxiety or paulcloughonline.com forward slash confidence. As simple as that. Have a look around. Every product has a money back guarantee. If you don't like it or you don't get the result, no questions asked. Okay? Please have a look. It would be great if you did. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.